Moin Moin and welcome. In this video we're gonna build our own pinball table. We start off with building the flipper mechanics and then we go over to the case. You can see all the 3D printed and mechanical parts laid out. Here's the flipper coil with surround, the plunger, the link, the moving assembly, washer, then here's the base plate, the screw will go through, another washer, and then finally the flipper arm. Get the axle, one washer, push it to the base plate, like this, then mount it obviously, then the other washer, just thread it on there. Hold the flipper in position so it's straight for your game and counter it. Now it's already solid. Get the link. So it has some wiggle room and there's no, not too much friction like this. Get the plunger, put the nail through. When you have the plunger installed, get the coil, put it on here. Oh yeah, it's the wrong. <laughs> For right and left, just mirror the base plate. Make sure the plunger is moving to turn it. Hold those lines up parallel. Mark the holes. Get your Dremel and drill out the holes. Now I bend the coil upwards a bit to loosen the friction between the plunger and the coil. Now cut off switch. First the flipper coil is energized. There is the strong coil and the low current coil. First the plunger pulls in with the high current and then we have to have a switch to switch it off. Else everything will overheat. A micro switch, it's an opener, it deactivates the coil mark it with a screwdriver. Now we tighten the first screw, then it's easier to do the second one. When the flipper is flipped, the power card is switched off at the end of travel. We also need to make sure it returns when we release the button. We need a long screw and the return spring. The long screw goes in here. Then you take your spring and push it over the nail so it pulls it back. We still need to add the end of travel screw. Make sure it's parallel again. Make a line. Take your screw. That's made where the hole should go. And that was the mechanical part of the build. Carefully send away the varnish top layer. Quickly and carefully tin them to not melt the plastic too much. Then we can add the first wire, which is the grounding wire. We can connect the wire that goes the flipper. Put the wire through and then just add some solder. Now that the wires are soldered to the switch, we also have to solder them to the coil. Here's the power from the switch. 
it should go into the low power and then the switch bridges the low power coil so the current flows to the high power coil and rises a lot. Don't forget the power wire right about there. Two coils and we have two switches that are off screen right now. We have the ground wire which goes down here. It's connected to the end of the coil. Then the two positive wires that go to the switches. They are on the normally closed switches. Then it goes to the coil and then as I said to ground. When the flipper now actuate the switch the low power coil the low power coil gets added to the circuit and the current drops dramatically. A few amps is the power coil and the hold coil is like 600 milliamps or something. So it heats up significantly less. Time for a test run. Now we cut the side pieces of the flipper. That's all the pieces we need for the flipper. So here are the flipper mechanics, the switches, and here is the casing. I already glued the downside. Now I'm going to put on the other side and weigh it down again so the glue can set on here. Try to hit this thing. Damn. Hi, Catherine. Do you want to play too? Okay, I will give it a try. So here's the ball. And that's the target. That's the target, so... A thousand points for Catherine when she hits it. Bam! A thousand points! Ball two. Almost. <clears throat> Come on, you can get it. You can get it. You can get it. 
Another score, and we hit it again. Bam! I think the right one is slightly weaker. Yeah, it's still slightly weaker. You still have to trim down the plastics. Here, you can. I see. You can. You can see it when you. Uh, here, when you hit it, you have to have quite some power to pull it down. And on this side, it's just. It's not. It's not sticking to the back of the metal. I see. That's also why it's not so powerful, because um, at this last bit, this one really um, gets attracted to the metal, because the distance between the two metals gets um, closer, so this is way stronger, and you can also hear it. So basically, here uh, it uh, disconnects the strong circuit too early. Is that correct? No, no, no. It's um, just before the end of travel, um, the plunger goes to the back side of the metal and it really sticks to the metal. So this um, gives it like the final push. And this push is really strong, so um, that's why this one is weaker. Could also be the switch. But. <laughs> Still works. It's not bad for like. Prototype to production. Like, it's basically a prototype. Beautiful. It's actually a lot of fun, mm -hmm. even though there's not much of a playfield yet. Yeah, I'm looking forward to prototyping that with you.